In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create intuitive, fun-to-use families for the end users. Check out this cabinet family. It has blue grips and 3D views to modify the dimensions. Another nice thing about it is that the width values are rounded to the nearest 50mm increment. The family also has a 3D text warning that shows up if the width exceeds a certain value. Let's take this basic cabinet family and add these features. The first thing we'll do is to add a second width parameter. We call it actual width. It should be an instance parameter. Then you can rename the existing width parameter and call it user width. Type this formula for the actual width parameter. You can replace 50 millimeters with any increment you want to use. This allows you to round the dimension to specific increments, in this case, 50 millimeters. The user enters a value in user width and the actual width result is rounded to the nearest 50 millimeters increment. You can see what happens when you change the user width. Switch the dimension label from user width to actual width. Now let's add the grips for 3D views. You must add reference lines to the family. Create a line for each side of the rectangle. Draw it slightly beyond the existing reference plane. To improve the visibility, you can select the reference line and create a new subcategory. We call it Dimensions. Add a bright color to easily distinguish these lines from the reference planes. Now create a dimension that goes from the reference plane on one side to the reference line on the other side. Create a dimension for each of the four sides. Select the dimensions for the width value and assign the user width label. In the other direction, assign the depth label for both dimensions. Try to load the family back into the project. You can see it works. You can adjust the filming dimensions by dragging the grips in 3D views. The width of this cabinet is rounded to the nearest 50 mm increments. Now let's add the 3D text warning. Create a new model text. Type in the warning you want to see. Place it in front of the family. Add a dimension from a reference plane to the model text. Lock it. Select the model text and click here to add a new visibility parameter. This should be an instance parameter. In the formula, type in actual width is greater than 1200 millimeters or any maximum value you want to use. Load the family into the project and play with the grips. You can see the 3D text shows up if the actual width is beyond 1200 millimeters. I'm very happy to announce our new course called Heroic Families for Revit to help you become a Revit Family Mega Master. This is going to be released in February of 2024. The course will include an ebook PDF, video tutorials, Revit Families samples, case studies, as well as live master classes and access to the community to ask questions. This is going to be part of the new BIM Pure uh, platform that is going to be subscription based. Uh, this course will include multiple examples of heroic families, case studies like, like this giant wood pegboard, Adoro collections, this engineered floor system, as well as really unique skills that will make your families much better, such as mastering the arrays, controlling the dimensions, and creating great looking families that don't have any odd visual glitches. Uh, you can learn more by going to the link included in the description of this video to learn everything about this upcoming course and you can get on get on the wait list to receive a unique 20 percent off coupon for when the course is released really looking forward to it this course has been in the works for many years uh, so thank you and see you soon bye